A 10. We begin with breaking news out of Richland County where initial reports indicate one person has been shot near Stern Sports Arena and police are still looking for the gunman. There's a shelter in place order for students and staff at North Dakota State College of Science in Wapaton. The sheriff's office confirmed to us they got a call just after seven tonight for a report of shots fired. Police haven't given us any official information, only telling us they're very busy. Scanner traffic indicates police have set up a perimeter and blocked off traffic. We're being told by neighbors in that area that police are going from apartment building to apartment building looking for a man in a black hoodie, jeans and a ski mask. Again, several reports indicate the incident may have begun at the hockey arena, which was full of youth players at the time across from Wapaton High School, where we're told there was wrestling practice going on, which was also locked down. Again, we're still waiting on official information from police. We do know the college is still in a lockdown. We'll continue to update you here on air and online. More breaking news to report tonight. Six people are hurt after an ambulance was rear ended near Edmore. North Dakota Highway Patrol says a car rolled on State Highway 1. Crews were helping the injured driver when a Jeep driven by an 89 year old Langdon man struck the ambulance. Not only was the 89 year old seriously hurt and taken to a hospital, Four ambulance crew members were hurt in the crash. One of them with serious injuries along with the 63 year old woman they were treating. The icy conditions played a factor in that crash and at least nine more along the interstates today and conditions seem to be getting even worse. Tomorrow's a first alert weather day. Let's get the latest from Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Hutch. Stacy, thank you so much. Good evening everyone on this Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It's been a snowy and icy one across the area and we're not getting a lot of snow as far as quantity goes, but we certainly have some slippery conditions and a number of crashes reported not only during the day today, but tonight we're having people crash slide off the roads and it is definitely some challenging drives. That is why we issued a first alert weather day for your Tuesday for a snowy and icy morning drive as our snow bands, while not very impressive here, light snow continues from now Grand Forks all the way through that Ellendale area where it's been snowing most persistently. Uh, throughout the day today. Now we do have some heavier bands of snow setting up on the I-35 corridor between the Twin Cities and Duluth, and this is going to just sit here for quite some time now as we go through the overnight. Barnes County all the way down towards Dickey County, Oaks also included. That road report, anywhere you see pink on this, are roads that are completely covered. This is Northeast South Dakota. That uh, Wapton, Breckenridge area on in towards Wheaton, also Edgeley to Jamestown and Interstate 94, extremely icy in spots between Fargo through Valley City and into Jamestown. Some icy road conditions reported up in Northeast North Dakota as well. Even though they show up as blue, that means patchy spots of ice. Snow reports through midday were one to three inches and it's been snowing all day since. So we'd appreciate any reports you have as we get into the morning because it's going to be snowing through the overnight hours with steady temperatures. Hour by hour details, Stacy here on how long it snows, how much you can expect coming up here in just a few short minutes. Okay, thanks so much, Hutch. New for you tonight at 10, North Dakota lawmakers are introducing legislation.